and it's so nice to meet you. Go and musician in the US, in the UK. UK, yeah. I would tell us uh, your musical journey from here to there. Yes, basically I started uh, my music um, career in Goa. And it's going back in the 90s and 80s. After school, in school? In school, I started in school and I was playing harmonica. That was my first instrument. Oh. And I took the guitar, uh, the rhythm guitar, and then initially I started playing bass. So I was sort of um, wanted to do something, learn different, something more Latin sort of side. So I went to Portugal in 1994, uh, learned the language, Portuguese language, and I started to learn a bit of the Latin side of um, music, so which I, which is bossa nova, samba, you know, Latin, the Latin feel. So that's that's the journey um, in Portugal. But in 2002, I went to UK, and that's where I sort of started getting know about knowing about the the Western music, you know, how they do it. So you um, put the music together. Um, basically how to create a song there's so, a lot yeah, of science into it yeah so yeah the, the, so say again what's there's a lot of science in, in, in yeah there is a lot of science so if say for example um, if you take a song you want you want to create a story you want to tell a story to somebody so you need to have um, some sort of chemical in it so you, you need to put spice and make sure that if you put balance it right a song is it's about spices so if you want to make it more sweet you can put more sort of sugar in it right you can bitter you can put something more which it's got bitter flavor so it's hot you can put some more chilies in it so it's, it's, you need to balance the song so I've, I've learned how to do it and that um, is true joining a uh, songwriting writing academy in, in UK and wow. I've learned a lot today wow. so you've written your own songs I've original. done so far I've done two songs and they're on YouTube at the moment what, um, what username I've got Ivan F. That's my artist name, Ivan F. Um, Ivan F. or Ivan F. Ivan I V O R. Okay, okay. And then space N E V E Nev. Okay. So, so if you know, uh, if you want any time, you can just I check see. my songs there. So I'll be releasing the third song um, in June. What genre? Or how so this the, the the song I'm going to release. The third song is more on the piano section. The strings back up. Uh, which I love a lot and um, hope everyone li likes it as well. So I'm looking forward to releasing it in June. That's very interesting. Uh, would you think that the diaspora can shape Goan music, reshape it, like how Chris Perry and a whole lot of others have already done? Yeah, of course they, they can do it. I mean, um, I mean, Goa's got a big heritage of music, right? Sorry? So big heritage who, of music, who? the Goans. Goans. Yeah. So basically, um, going back from um, Ramo, Chris Perry, the big legends of Goa, obviously. Um, and I think the youngsters, which I see nowadays, got a lot of talent and they're showing the talent. What they have to do nowadays is basically take the talent and do something of their own rather than doing a cover song, for example. It's good to do a cover song. We I'm need not more against than covers, it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not against it. But you can twist the song, take it and do it on your own way. Never try and imitate someone else. Use your own voice, do it in your own way. That's where you're gonna improve your voice. And try and try and learn from the cover songs. We're listening to a cover song, see how they're writing the song. If you listen to it, how they're doing it, how they're telling the story in the song, that's, that's very important, telling the story in the song. So I would uh, tell all my grown friends, my musician friends, to, to, to come with, with cover, you know, listen to cover songs, but come with your own songs, own music, because you can do it. You're talented musicians in Goa. Some Fantastic. Days, some, some memories about growing up in uh, Giri, Montegiri school. Oh, yeah, 80s, yeah, I was, I was, um, yeah, I was in Montegiri school, and uh, it, was, it was a fantastic when? school. Uh, and uh, we, we had a music sort of a room where I, initially I thought I would be a drummer. Right, and I was play drums, and I said, no, 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 that's not for me. So I took a uh, guitar, and that's where I sort of I had a teacher. I'm really sorry I forgot my teacher's name, but yeah, it was uh, that was amazing. 1986, there. you passed out. 87. 87. 87. Yeah. So that's where I passed out, and uh, I would want to thank uh, my my school, my boarding school, to giving me the platform as to play, you know, the music in the school. I used to take part in the national level and to the inter-school 
singing competition, which obviously I used to make them proud all the time I took part. So I will never forget that. Yeah. Thank you. Fascinating. Thanks so much. Thanks for that, Iva. Thank you very much. You're from which village? 